Hello, this is your brother, John Love, in Christ Jesus. So, Jesus stated in his word, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross daily and follow me. If any man will come after Jesus, you need to know that there's a denying a denying of yourself, a denying in who you are. Because the Lord wants to have full control, control over our life. So as followers of Jesus Christ, we have to know that our life needs to manifest Christ. Christ needs to be visible to those that are watching when you are living out Christianity, your faith. They need to see Christ. They need to see Christ. So, as sons, we understand that our life needs to be set apart. Set apart. So, in this walk of faith, we cannot take it lightly. We cannot take it lightly. There, there have to be a seriousness, a, we have to be, if I can say, forceful, aggressive. And when I mean aggressive, I mean that, I mean, like, because we know that the kingdom, the, 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 the word of God say, the kingdom of heaven itself is violence and the violence taken by force. And we have to understand that, yes, this walk we're in, it takes force, it takes aggression, it takes daily denying of our life because we know there's the enemy and his job is to kill his job is to steal his job is to destroy man so we cannot take this walk lightly we cannot take this walk lightly we have to be a people man of god Woman of God, sons, that we respect who we are. We respect we 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 walk in who we are. We understand in who we are, and we cannot take days off or be out of place of comfort and. Not think that, not thinking that, oh, you're, you, you want to be comfortable. You think that today you're not going to put in the effort. You think that today you're not going to put great effort to seek my face, great effort to, you know, be in my presence, to follow me and deny yourself. So you're going to be comfortable. There are those that get to a place of comfortable and because they are too, are, uh, they're too, how can I cannot say, they're too focused on the, the world around them. They're too busy, busy uh, coming, coming up with methods, busy in trying to achieve goals, achieve, you know, things they have wrote down, they have you know, have on their list to check off. They're too busy 
trying to focus on their life and they get to a place of comfortable of comfortability like they get to comfortable that they are not at place they're not they're not um in position to be who they are called to be. So when adversity and things come, they fail. Why? Because they wasn't on guard. They wasn't on guard. That's what happened to King David. Because he was had a job to do. He was a king and it was his job as a king to go out in war to go out in battle. You know, he had a responsibility. He had a job. But he ignored that job, he ignored that, and said that, you know, I'm going to stay home. I'm going to stay at the palace. I'm going to stay here. You know, I let them take care of it. No. You know, as a king, you are you are, you are an example. You are a leader. And they, they people watch you. And yes, you have an impact on the people around you. So your decisions will affect those around you. Your decisions, people can view you as no, you're supposed to be a king, but you're acting this way. You're supposed you supposed to be a king, but you're not doing your job. What's going on? So because of because he didn't get at work, he wasn't um, at in position. He wasn't. You know, at a at his place, he fell into sin. He fell into sin, and that's what happened to men. That's what happened to men, because they get to a place where they get so comfortable, where they get so relaxed, where they get when they say, "I'm too tired to." Put in the work. I'm too tired to fight. I'm too tired to press in. I'm too tired to seek the face of the Lord. I'm too tired. You know, I have a long, busy day. I have a long, you know, I'm, I'm too tired. No. It takes daily effort. It takes daily focus. It takes daily obedience. It takes daily forcefulness, daily forcefulness, forcefulness to be who you are called to be. Because if you're not doing your job, if you're not doing your job, if you're not following Christ daily, because it says daily that we have to pick up our cross daily. We have to pick up our cross daily. We have to manifest Christ daily. Our life needs to manifest and needs to show the manifestation of Christ. The manifestation of holiness, the manifestation of righteousness and faithfulness. Yes, and that's Christ Jesus. That they can see Jesus manifest through you because you are a man, a woman of God that's always constantly at the face of Jesus, at the feet of Jesus. So when you are being presented, when God is putting you out there, because God love to show his he loves to show off if I can say that he like to show off he like to present he like to um um put his people his follow his sons and his friends at a place where people can see man this is what it is this is the expectation of 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 a man of God, of a woman of God, of a Christian, uh, how a Christian must follow me as a godly man must follow me as a godly woman must follow me. This is what it is. I put this right here. I allow it to be visible so you guys can see that a hey, that it is possible that man can be perfect. That man can be perfect as the Father in heaven is perfect. Yes, that is the expect expectation. That is the focus that we be perfect as the Father that's in heaven. It is perfect as many have excuses. Many were 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 
reject that right there and say, no, you wait, 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 wait. Listen, no one is perfect. No more is perfect. God is stating it, stating this in his word. So you're you're calling God a liar. You're saying that the word of God is a lie. And they'll be so dumb to say, hey, not everything in the Bible is true. If you, if that's you, and that's your mindset, and that's your that's your belief. You are you are on the way. You are on your way to hell if you are, if you don't repent. You must be born again. Yeah, that's the word for you. You must be born again. You are a straight error if you think that not everything in the Bible is true. Oh, you are a straight error. You need, you must be born again. You must be born again, or you're going to spend eternity in hell fire and hell fire forever in, in eternity in hell separate from God. Yes. Yeah, separating, separate from God. That's a separation. No, because God, he, 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 he set a strong foundation. He said he, he, he is serious in what he is saying. That's why his word is true. His word is alive. He is the word. He is the word. The word of God. The word of God. He, the word of God lives. The word of God is alive. The word of God walked on earth. He came. He said, Father, God said his only begotten son. The word. He was threat with men to show men, to teach men, to lead men, to tell men that, hey, this is my way. Follow my way. If you come, if you're going to come after me, you have to follow my way. You have to follow my way. Oh, Jesus, where are we going to lay our hand at? Where do you stay? No. Yes, the birds, the birds and the foxes, they have nests and holes to go to, but the sons of men don't have nowhere. That they, hey, we, we are we are focused on the the father's business. We are focused on the kingdom. We seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, and everything will be added on to. So it is not our focus to try to figure life to try to come up with methods and come up with ways, man, how can I be a successful person? How can I be a a, 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 a man of respect, a woman of respect, that people can respect me because I have things, I have achieved things, I have, you know, Paperwork that say that I have a doctor degree. I have paperwork that say that I have a bachelor degree. I got paperwork that say that I have an associate degree. I got paperwork that say I have a high school diploma. I have paperwork that say that I work those jobs. I've ten or twenty years experience at this job. I I I have this for myself. I did some good for myself. And at the end of the day. Jesus say, no, deny yourself. You're too rich. You're too rich. You're rich. You're, you're boastful about your achievement. You're too rich. You have too much. You What you have, you achieve it yourself. You can't not come after me if you do not deny yourself. Yeah, if you do not deny yourself, you cannot come after me. What he said to the rich young ruler. What he said to him. Because he wanted to know. He wanted to know. How can he. Can he can. How can he be, be saved. Be accepted in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. He wanted to know. And Jesus had to make it clear to him 
because he had to tell them up front, and that's the gospel. We don't sugarcoat. We don't make things sound good in the, the ears of people because we don't want to offend them. No, we tell them, we put it up front, we put it at the table and say, this is what it is. This is what it is. If you're going to come to me, if you're going to follow Christ, Christ, Jesus is saying, yes, you need to hate, th hate those things. Hate your mother, hate your father, hate your children, hate those things. Because if you're, that's your focus, hate your life. Yeah, hate your own life. Yeah. And, you know, that's your focus. If you're focused on those states, he's not he's not speaking out of a hate as the world may look at it. You know, the world would may present it you to you as, you know, you know, hate of hatred, like, you know, and sin, like I hate you, mom, I hate you. You know, I don't talk to you. No, get out of my face and you know, no, not that way hate. You know, it's a hate, but in righteousness. It's in righteousness because I'm doing this right here. I'm doing this right here. If you are not on board, I'm sorry, mom. I'm sorry, dad. But what I'm doing, I, I, yeah, I, what I'm doing, hey, if you are not on, a, on board, if you don't respect the call who I am and what God's doing in my life, I'm sorry, I cannot um, have fellowship with you. I can't have, I cannot be connected with you in that way. I'm sorry. I have to hate that lifestyle. I have to hate sin. I have to hate what you guys are doing because where I'm going, it need, it takes forceful focus, forceful, forceful obedience, forceful, you know, you know, worship unto the Lord. Where I'm going, I need to you know be at a place that I focus on to the Lord. I cannot allow you to stop me. So Jesus had to confront the rich young ruler because he knew what was in his heart. No, you have this in your heart. You're not gonna follow me for real. You really not gonna take it serious because this right here have your heart. This right here have your heart, and you're gonna look back because. He stated in this word, remember Lot's wife. And when things start getting difficult, when things start getting hard, when when it, when it, when when it's, when when you get to a, a level in your faith, and I'm starting to cut away things in your life, you gonna you won't be able to do it because you your heart is attached to the things that you brought with you. You looked away. You looked away, man. This is not for me. That's why many walked away from Christ. Many walked away because they was offended. They felt like it made well, this take too much. It doesn't take all that. Yeah. But God is, is, is letting them know, listen, this is what it is. I'm putting it at the table. I'm putting it before you. And I'm showing you this is what it is. If you don't respect that, hey, this is not for you. The exit door is right there. The exit sign is right there. Yeah, you can turn around, go and do what you have to do. Oh, Father, Jesus, let me go bury my father right quick. Let me go bury, you know, let me go bury my loved one. You know, let the dead bury the dead. Yeah, he said this to let them know, no, I am at the father's business. If you're not about the father's business, if you are focused on what the dead focus on, this is not for you. Yeah, this is not for you. And most people, they pass by that. You know, they pass by certain word, certain uh, scriptures in the word of God and, and, and say that, you know, that don't apply to them. No, God was too offensive with that. Jesus was too offensive. Jesus was too, he was too much. No, nah, see, not everything in the Bible is true. Yeah, that's why you go into hell. You must be born again. You must be born again. Yes, he's Put that in the word of God because he know there are people that way. No, because he, 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 he put that there to show, hey, man's heart. You're not going to follow me. Watch. Continue reading the word of God. Yes, you, 
you gave your life to me. Yes, you gave you you wanted to make a decision because your life was hard. You 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 was messed up, and now you want to come to me. Yes, continue reading, continue reading. Yes, and they find it. Say, Whoa, this is too much. This is very offensive. Whoa, this is right. This is right. Oh, this is not for me. It is not for me. Yes, because it's serious. It's serious. God is not looking for the pretense. He's not looking for the fake. He's not looking for those that's going to say, oh I, oh, I love God. I, I I love God. I got God in my heart. And you, 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 you're, you're, you're not, you're not obedient. You're not faithful. You do whatever you want to do. Yeah. You have to understand that. You have to understand that it glorifies God when we obey his voice. That glorify God. That glorify God when we obey his voice. We obey his voice. We obey what he is saying in his word. When he's commanded us, to, he's commanded us what he's commanded us to do. Yeah, we obey that. We obey that. If you come after me, you must deny yourself. Let's pick up your cross daily. Yes. Yeah, you have to obey that. You don't do what you whatever you want to do. You don't do what you think that is right. No, this is serious. This is serious. And only are hungry and thirsty. Only those that are obedient. Only those that are sincere. Only those that fear the Lord. Only the pure heart. Those that have clean hands and a pure heart will see the Lord. They will see the Lord. So we cannot play pretense. We cannot play like this is something, this is a game. It's not a game. And maybe we're going to find out when they stand before God that, hey, this is serious. Yes, it's a daily fight, a daily battle. And you have to put in the effort. You have to make decisions, constant decisions to be who you are called to be. You cannot lay down. You cannot lay down the, the, the your, your responsibility. You cannot lay down who you are. You cannot put down Christ for a moment, for a season, and pick it back up. No, it doesn't work that way. It's either you in or you're not. It's either you in or you're not. Stop playing games with God. Stop playing games with God. Stop playing with your life. Play games with your life. Jesus is serious. He is serious. He is serious. He is serious that we live like him, that we obey him, that we take this walk serious and not lightly. Whatever you do, whatever you do, whatever you 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 do. As a man and a woman of God, if you are not taking this serious, if you're not faithfully doing what God has commanded you to do, if you're taking this lightly, if you're living your life however, if you are moved easily by your emotions, Everything you're doing is fake. Everything you're doing, you're doing is vain. So it doesn't matter how much time, how many times. It doesn't matter how much times you go to church and throughout the week, or you know, how many times how much you pray. It. No, if you obey God, everything you're doing is vain. God doesn't care about. He's not pressed about your you uh, how where you pray, how where you speak, how where you preach, how anointed you are, uh, how 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 you dance and worship, how you sing and worship, who you are. He, he's not impressed. If you don't obey, listen. It's either you obey or you die. He's gonna plot you. He's gonna he's plotting to kill people. Because people don't really want to respect the fact that, hey, hey 
this is serious. This is not something you come to and you think that is it's a playground, it's, it's a it's a it's a circus. You can't play. You can't play. No, you, it's not. This not. This this is not a game. This is serious. And this is why folks is in hell right now. Folks that was in the faith, folk that was in the faith, they hell right now. Because they thought this was play. They thought this was a game. They thought this was, it's, you know, God was serious. Oh, he's a loving God. He will, he, He's merciful. He He will never throw us to hell, throw us away in hell. He will never do such thing like that. Yes, he's loving. He's lo- He loves you too, so much, he will throw you in hell. Respect that. Because he loves his holiness more than he loves you. Respect that. He don't. He doesn't care. You, you, you got y'all play. Y'all, y'all put up this Jesus that uh, Jesus that say, "Oh, a Jesus that's gonna pat you on your back." It's okay. It's okay. I understand. I understand. I understand. You have issues and problems. I understand. No one's perfect. Yeah, that's the that's the Jesus y'all put up. That's the Jesus y'all 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 present. No, my Jesus, no, no, the one I know, the one I serve. Listen, it's not about. He's not here for games. It's either you follow him. It's either you follow him, you obey him, or else he's gonna kill you. He's gonna kill you. He gonna he gonna destroy your life. Because yes. Because he expect more from man. He expect that we give more. Why? Because he died for man. He died. He gave his life for man. So he expect that man. Listen, I gave my life. I came from the kingdom of heaven just to come here. To die for man so man can have access. So man can have a way to my father. So man can live forever in eternity with me. Yeah. So you gonna play games? You gonna play games? You gonna act like why well, I didn't did this for you? Yeah. And that's why Jesus is gonna kill folks. That's why Jesus is gonna destroy people because people wanna act, they wanna act out. They wanna act like Jesus don't see what they do. They wanna act like God don't see what they do. Oh, so God is serious. He is serious. He is serious. He's looking for, you know, he's looking for those that's going to worship him in spirit and in truth because God is a spirit. And then that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. That's your lifestyle. That's daily. You come after the Lord. You come after him. You have to deny your life daily. Pick up your cross daily. Yes. You you have to your life need to manifest Christ, manifest Jesus every day. Every day. This is not just a church thing. This is not just a a say you say telling people, oh I, I go to church, I, I know God, I I you know, oh if it's not if your life is not saying it. If your life is not communicating, communicating that, if your life is not manifesting that, everything you're doing is fake. Everything you're doing is vain. Everything you're doing is empty. And God is coming back for the pure heart. He's coming back though for those that have clean hands and a pure heart. He's coming back for the church. And he's going to judge the church. The house of God will be judged. The church will be judged first because we know to do better. And, we, and the men are not doing it. Man is not living out righteousness. Man is not living out holiness. No. So they want to live their life however. They want to make decisions. They want to make excuses and say, oh, we have our problems. Oh, we have our all have issues. Oh, no one's perfect. No one's perfect. That's you know, excuses. You cannot stand before God and tell God 
hey, God, we all have problems. No. Because the Bible says that we have to be perfect as the Father that's in heaven is perfect. Do you that that do that do that click with you? Do that does that click when you hear that? God is saying that. I'm not saying that. As a vessel, he uses me to say to speak his word, and I'm speaking what I, I know what he say in his word. That's the word of God. That is the word of God. Understand that. That is the word of God. That is the word of God. He said that to be perfect as the Father that is in heaven is perfect. Yes. Be holy as I am holy. Be holy in all conversations. That's the word of God. That is the word of God. Understand that. that is the word of God. If you ignore that and you say that, hey, God is not saying that. You, or so you call it God is a liar. That's what you say. You call it, you call it God is a liar. When you don't respect the truth or you don't respect the word of God. When you don't agree with the word of God, you say you call it God a liar. You call it God a liar. That's what happened. that's what's going on. Folks are playing. Folks are playing. Folks are playing with God. People are playing with God. People are playing with God. So you must be born again.